Hello again. Welcome back to Video Gamers Oasis on Twitch, and I'm your host Jeremy. Took a little break, and now I'm ready to continue playing uh, Dagon, H.P. Lovecraft's classic cosmic horror story. It made it into a PC game. It's kind of a point-click adventure, and we're going to continue where we left off. Um, I'm hoping I'm hoping the video gameplay was it's much more smoother now. I recalibrated my uh, Streamlabs, so it will be much more smoother broadcasting. Sorry about the previous uh, bad animation, but we're going to continue on our game. Let's see if I can change the sound a bit. The audio is a little bit loud. Can we just have a little less sound effects, a little less, um, yeah, just not so blaring, just so I can hear myself think. Okay, I don't want to. I don't want to totally um, mute. I just want to be able to hear myself think. And it's um, uh, anything else I want to say? Anything else? Uh, language is English. Obviously, I want that. Uh, graphics resolution. Okay, save and exit. Let's continue where we left off. Put on my glasses. I'm going to get some blue blocks someday. Just right now. Don't have any time for that right now. I'm in the process of cleaning my room, doing a lot of purging in my life and so I thought it'd be appropriate to play some HP Lovecraft's Dagon. Very a creepy land upheaval in the Pacific. My rescuers knew nothing. So what happened is a backtrack in case you're playing this watching this for the first time. The character in this story was uh, rescued from a Hun battleship. Not rescued. Survived an attack uh, crash not attack onto an island uh, from, from as a prisoner of war during I think World War One, I'm not sure a Hun battleship and he survived the, uh, the destruction of the ship, landed on a strange island with creepy crawlers, um, squid, octopi, giant crabs, and we found our way to a, a giant monolith, and the monolith had a bizarre icons or imagery of aquatic humanoid creatures that are big as whales and we were able to see possibly the rise of, of a elder god in uh, I don't know if it was attacking the monolith or looking at the monolith but it was very frightening and that's when uh, the hero blacked out unconsciously and woke up in a San Francisco hospital and so now we're gonna Continue where we left off. Let's see what we can do. It's a point and click adventure. It's very straightforward, very linear, but I really love H.P. Lovecraft stories. I grew up with his 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 brand of sci cosmic science fiction, very bizarre, unusual, occult kind of science fiction. And let's gonna continue on with this really weird, creepy story that uh, I think you'll enjoy watching with me. So make sure to send some likes and some love and follow me if you like what you see so far. I will be making more streams of more games. I want to make more gameplay uh, as time progresses. Just right now, things are kind of like a little bit tumultuous in my life. So thank you for your patience. And of any land upheaval in the Pacific, my rescuers knew nothing. Nor did I deem it necessary to insist upon a thing which I knew they could not believe. So the narrator is talking about how his feelings. He, there's no way the people who rescued him would believe him, what he went through, what he witnessed. They would think he was delirious or mad, mentally ill, uh, talking about the crates, bizarre creatures and visions that he saw. So let's see if we can look at some objects in this room. We're in a hospital, lying in bed, and it looks like a pizza. It looks like a pizza um, pizza restaurant uh, um, tablecloth, but it's obviously a blanket. Let's, uh, I don't want, why am I thinking of pizza all the time? I'm, I must have a craving for pizza. Let's look at this notepad here. The journalist. Lovecraft was a prominent figure in the world of amateur journalism. In 1915, he started publishing his own journal called The Conservative, which included political and social commentary, poetry, short stories, and literary criticism written by him and other uh, authors. We, al we already read this part previous video I'll provide a link in this where you can watch me read that a little commentary it's quite uh, quite opinionated 
Now let's get on with uh, what else can we look at? Can we look at this cross? No, we can't. There's nothing much we can click on except what's on the circle. Let's click on the door. Yeah. We're gonna get up from bed and open the door. Yes, I sought out a celebrated ethnologist. Ethnologist, uh, some kind of authority on eth on ethnic lands or countries or re religions or cultures. And amused him with peculiar questions regarding the ancient Philistine legend of okay. the fish god. And then used him with particular questions regarding the ancient Philistine legend of Dagon, the fish god. So I'm in the library. It's a nice library. There doesn't seem to be much interaction with actual people in this game. Let's look at this notepad, this piece of paper. Dagon. Dagon, obviously. It's spelled D-A-G-O-N in the game, and in brackets it's spelled D-A-G-A-N. Was the main deity of the Philistines, worshipped throughout the Middle East as the ancient god of fertility and crops. In Hebrew, the word Dagan was a common noun for grain. The rulers of Akkad, Mesopotamia, chose him as the patron saint of their war conquests. He also appeared as a judge of the dead in an Assyrian poem and an underworld prison warder in one of the Babylonian texts. He's often mistakenly taken for a fish god due to the wrong interpretation of his name. As in Hebrew, the word Dag means fish. In H.P. Lovecraft's works, Dagon is an underwater deity ruling over the deep ones, a humanoid race with fish traits that resides in the oceans. He is worshipped by a secret cult called the Esoteric Order of Dagon. It's a little bit of FLQ for you. And I'm getting a phone call from my mom, so I'm going to take a quick break. We'll stop here at this nice office, and we'll continue on a little bit later. Let's save our game. We'll uh, quit for now. Just going to see how my stream went, see if it worked all right. I am going to be getting a new st a studio someday, hopefully a better quality one. But I am going to just take a little break here, and we're going to get, I want to get back to you later. So I hope you could be patient with me as I get things kind of arranged here. Waiting for this to load. This, this game takes a long time to load. Yes, yes, I'll get you. To, I'll get to you in a moment, Mom. I'll get you in a moment. So exit the game. I'll get to the game, and we're just gonna stop the stream for a few minutes, and I'll be back a little bit later. So don't you go away. Thanks for watching. Video gamers always on Twitch.